considered by many as China's Hawaii, Sanya is one of the most gorgeous destinations in China. And while our contestants have wanted to relax and enjoy a day off, today they face off for a spot in the Miss World Final 40. I'm Frankie Chenna and welcome to the Miss World Head to Head Challenge. Today's contestants vying for that spot are the People's Republic of China, Moldova, Denmark, Equatorial Guinea, Ukraine, and Hong Kong, China. Ladies, we are officially halfway through the Head to Head Challenge. Are you excited to finally be sitting here? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> well, I definitely hope you are because it is now your turn and voting is now open. Here's how it works. Each contestant has prepared an opening video presentation followed by a follow-up question. Then we'll catch up with Barney to learn more about the Miss World competition. And then it's the very important final question. Everyone ready? Let's meet our first contestant, the People's Republic of China. Shihong, 和书法，坚持超越自己，勇于向前。或许青春的星光有些朦胧，但我有足够的热情点亮自己人生的灯盏。我就是我，我是关思雨。China, you have participated in so many different forms of art. Why is art so important? Uh, well, I would say art is so important for me because art makes me sometimes more confident and peaceful as well. You know what? I'm outgoing and fond of showing myself. So being a model or taking part in some different art events would be um, would be uh, good for good for me. I believe uh, this is why Miss World Beauty Contest uh, pay attention to art would really put out what beauty with the purpose means. Thank you. Thank you, China. Our second contestant is Moldova. Hello, my name is Anna Badaniel and I am Miss Moldova 2017. And this year, I will represent my country at Miss World. I am 20 years old. It's the age when I am living the best moments of my life, with unusual experiences, opportunities, and many people who believe in me. I must say that despite the fact that the Republic of Moldova is a very small country, a lot of kind people live here and who are proud of their nation and the country's beautiful landscape. My hobbies are dancing and sports, which I have been practicing for many years. I consider that people should be in harmony with their body and be able to reveal their expressiveness in the best possible way. However, I would like to become a highly qualified economist. I am really enjoying my studies at the university, which I believe are also very productive. This is the place where I have the opportunity to develop as a personality and also discover my weaknesses so that I can handle them and work on my personal growth. I strongly believe we should all aim to achieve perfection as much as possible. I'd like to thank everyone for your support and your attention. Why do you want to be an economist? I think that every person must have some certain social abilities. The knowledge gained from studying and the education are essential in the formation of the personality. I think economy represents me at its best. This was my choice and I think the best choices are those you are made by yourself. My, cho my decision was influenced by the fact that the economy is at the basics of every country. 
and the specialists in this domain are necessary and always needed, being well paid and uh, having the possibility to help the other's life better. Thank you, Moldova. Our third contestant comes from Denmark. Hello, everyone. My name is Amanda Petri. I'm Miss Denmark 2017. I'm 20 years old and I live in the capital of Denmark, Copenhagen. Next summer, I'm going to study communication. Communication is more important now than ever, as the world becomes more and more connected. It's therefore important that we communicate respectfully. As Miss Denmark, I would like to spread knowledge about my beauty with a purpose. Through this project, I have met several people who work really hard as volunteers to make it different for children who are in really difficult situations. Doing something for others without getting anything in return is what real beauty is to me. I appreciate being surrounded by family and friends, just like I appreciate living in a country like Denmark. In Denmark, we have fought for generations to ensure the rights and freedom we enjoy today. Denmark is a beautiful country with lots of opportunities, and it's a big honor for me to represent it at Miss World 2017. Denmark, I know that one of your hobbies is dancing. How has dancing helped you in life? Well, first of all, I think that dance helps a lot of people in life without noticing it. As an example, when we're here, we have so many nations gathered together and we can't speak the same language, but when we dance, we kind of all understand each other and it brings some kind of joy. And that's the same thing it has done to my life. Uh, it has been my strength and the way that I have found my inner peace. And ex especially when I lost my father to cancer, it helped me a lot. Um, because it makes me happy. Thank you, Denmark. After the break, we'll meet our next three contestants. Welcome back to the Head to Head Challenge. If you like what you see, make sure you share this video with everyone you know. But first, let's meet our next contestant, Equatorial Guinea. Hola a todos, soy Catalina Mangue Ondo, represento a Guinea Ecuatorial, soy preuniversitaria, empiezo una carrera de derecho y soy voluntaria en dos ONGs en mi país. La razón por la que me apunté a Miss World fue simplemente porque aquí no se desea a una mujer físicamente perfecta y yo tengo otras cualidades que, que son ser buena persona, ser amable, amar a los demás y es lo que yo quiero demostrar al mundo. No quiero demostrar a la gente lo guapa que soy, ni lo bien que me he visto. Simplemente quiero demostrar lo que tengo en el interior de mí. Me gusta cocinar, pasar tiempo con chicas que necesitan de mi parte, eh, practico deporte, natación. You spoke about Miss World looking for more than just external beauty. Why is this so important to you? Es importante para mí porque es lo que de verdad representa a una mujer. Una mujer no es su altura ni su peso, sino lo que de verdad es su, su humildad, su seguridad en sí misma. Y ese es el tipo de mujeres que necesitamos en nuestra sociedad. Mujeres como la señora Juliana Morley, que todos los días está dando alegría a la gente. Ese es, ese es el tipo de mujer que necesitamos en el mundo. Y las mujeres bellas son las más felices. Gracias. Thank you, Equatorial Guinea. Our fifth contestant comes from Ukraine. Hello, my name is Polina Tkach. I'm Miss Ukraine 2017, contestant of Miss World. I'm 18 and I'm from Kiev. I've always tried to be a well-rounded person and that's why I've been practicing dancing and drawing for a long time. I've been visited trainings when skiing and a lot more. For some time it was interesting for me to make photos, but now I prefer to be in them. I studied at university at the Faculty of Foreign Business. I respect purposeful people that never give up. 
That's why I try to live according to the rule of constant education. Communicating with people, I achieve new experience, and it broadens my consciousness and life knowledge. I love animals so much and always take the problems connected with them very personally. I value sincere, honest and loyal people. I am open to companionship and mutuality. And of course, it's impossible to live without sense of humor in our time. So, I have that one too. See you soon in Sanya. Ukraine, tell us more about your love for animals. Okay, I'm beginning with that uh, charities are quite popular nowadays, but I'm beginning it not because it's a popular activity. I, uh, I do it because uh, it's in my heart. I love animals and always take the problem connected to them very personally and I'm grateful for this uh, to my parents. And uh, now I have many projects connected with uh, helping children who live in orphanage, uh, who need uh, surgery on treatment, help uh, veteran actors and uh, also animals. Together with my mom and sister we help homeless pets. Uh, we fight with a cruelty attitude to them uh, and uh, help with vaccination, um, with care, treatment uh, and uh, of course uh, uh, search, uh, uh, search uh, families for them. I think it's a really important problem and I think this problem needs uh, attention of our society and uh, needs uh, to be resolved on, uh, on the state level. Today my mission is not only personal assistance uh, or on one or another situation. Uh, today my mission to encourage people uh, to join charity and I hope that uh, we can do it together. Thank you, Ukraine. Thank you. Our final contestant from Group 11 is Hong Kong, China. My name is Emily Wong and I'm representing Hong Kong. Hong Kong is described as a city of energy and its true essence can be found in our people, our education, our traditional foods, and the busting streets itself. It's a place I'm so proud to call home. Having received my degree in retail merchandising and product development, I choose to surround myself with art, art of all kind, the art of fashion, the art of history, and the art of change. Through this, I found my true purpose. I hope to build, I hope to give, and I hope to inspire others step by step, for Hong Kong, for the world. It is my honor to partake in the 2017 Miss World pageant as I'm chasing after my dreams, my beliefs, and my goals. Thank you. Tell us about why you chose retail merchandising and product development as a degree. I think fashion is a never-ending learning cycle. Um, there are constantly new trends, new designs, and new fabric that enter as well as re-enter the market. I think fashion is a great way to portray who you are for both men and women. It showcases both your inner beauty as well as your outer beauty. So for me, it's more than just about how well you dress, but rather it's about carrying it um, through your confidence, your personality, as well as your strength. So I chose this major because I want to continue to learn more about our future markets, myself as well as others. Great. Thank you so much, you. Hong Kong, China. The six beautiful and intelligent contestants of Group 11. Well done, ladies. Remember, you can decide which of these contestants makes it into the Miss World Final 40, and there are three ways to vote. Liking the contestants' official Miss World Facebook page, voting for them on the Miss World website, or following them on their Mobstar accounts. The contestant with the most increase in votes, likes, and follows after this episode will advance directly to the Miss World Final 40. After the break, we'll take a look at the welcoming ceremony and parade here in Sanya.
welcome back. Thousands of citizens stormed the streets of Sanya to greet the contestants at the Miss World Parade. Let's take a look. Our welcome parade in Sanya began with speeches from local dignitaries and a warm welcome from the chairman of New Silk Road and the Miss World Organizing Committee, Mr. Li Bing. We are so happy to be here in Sanya. Mr. Mayor, it's my second home, and I'm so proud to bring back all the nations with me. We are looking forward to having our final here, and every single nation will remember this beautiful, beautiful Sanya like I do. What I need, Sanya. We can call the day the day of uh, beauty, okay? The day of uh, youth, the day of Sanya. The ladies are in their sports cars now, getting ready for the parade. It's going to be a great event. Oh, I see we have some of the contestants here. Hey, hey, I wish I had your car. <laughs> I have never seen so many people like uh, who are here for us. It's really nice of them. I love this flower that they gave us, and I'm just so uh, happy and thankful for all the people here in Sanya. The incredible thing about Tai Chi is that it's not just exercise, it's a way of life. And the, 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 the Chinese people keep so fit doing Tai Chi, and the thing is it's for all ages. And we have all ages here seeing us today and welcoming us to Sanya. And it's just beautiful, it's beautiful to see. Yeah. I'm so impressed to see all these people waiting for us, and uh, they are so friendly and so kind. So excited to see the beautiful people in Sanya, China. And everyone is so happy and I love it. I've never been to something like this before. Estamos pasando super bien. La gente es increíble. El cariño que nos dan a todas nosotras es increíble. Gracias, Sanya. Well, I need China. Everybody here in Sanya has to come out to welcome the Miss World organization and all the 120 contestants, and we could be having a more amazing, amazing time. We were also welcomed with a display of traditional Chinese pole dancing. Our contestants tried their luck, with the challenge being not to get stuck in between the poles during each step order. So this is just incredible. I didn't expect us all to have this reception. Literally miles and miles of people coming to see all of us. We're all having a go at some of the things here. It's really fun. That was easy, but it was cool. Yeah, yeah with heels on. It makes me feel like I'm home at Sanya, and I can't, I can't wait to experience the next one. The final leg of our welcome parade led us to the harbour where we boarded the beautiful Haikun for an inspiring sunset cruise. Today has been absolutely incredible. Sanya has most definitely pulled out all the stops. We've had helicopters, drones, thousands and thousands of adoring fans lying in the streets and now we're getting ready to set sail. So in the words of Sanya's deputy mayor, it's been a day of beauty, a day of youth and it's most definitely been a day of Sanya. I love Sanya! Welcome back, Farney. Thank you. For and uh, welcome our very special guest, Adela Kong. Thank you. Thank you, you for having me. Thank you for being here. You have been our on site Chinese presenter, and you will also present the Chinese part of the head to head challenge. Yes. So it's very, very exciting to add a new person to our team. Thank you. Now, you were with us at the opening ceremony in Sanya yesterday. Yeah. What was it like? I was very excited. Um, we were well, very welcomed by people in Sanya, and a lot of people were watching us. So it was very excited. And uh, Barney, then the parade? For the parade, it was something else. I mean, it was actually overwhelming to see thousands and thousands of people lining the streets just to see us. 
just just to welcome Miss World. And you know, we were going down the street, and they were all waving, screaming, "I love you," blowing kisses, and it was just great. We were waving back. It was it was amazing. It was really was special. Thank you, Adela, China, Barney. After the break, the contestants will answer the final question. Welcome back. It's time for the final question. Now, each of our contestants were given the question before the show. I'll read the question one more time, and you'll each have 30 seconds to answer. Today's question comes from a fan on Twitter. Best of luck. Aside from a dove, what do you think would be the perfect symbol for peace? Hong Kong, China, you're first. I think the perfect symbol for world peace instead of a dove is I would choose a seed. Um, I think in our world, what we need is a start. So I think just like our trees, our fruits, and our agriculture, it all begins with a seed. So no matter how small, I believe that it makes a difference, it makes a change, and it's a new beginning. So I would choose a seed. Thank you, Hong Kong, China. Ukraine. З давніх давен люди використовували різні знаки, щоб символізувати мир. Зараз знаком миру є білий голуб. Але я вважаю, що знаком миру також може бути наш український соняшник, який символізує достаток, добробут, сонячну енергію, також енергію життя. Тож я бажаю всім країнам світу процвітання та миру. Thank you, Ukraine. Equatorial Guinea. Yo creo que el mejor signo es el de las manos unidas, porque es el que representa la unión de todo el mundo. Y esa unión es la que necesitamos actualmente para afrontar los problemas que nos están sucediendo y dejar aparte las guerras, las humillaciones, el racismo. Todo eso simplemente nos está echando para atrás y no está ayudando en nada. Lo que tenemos que hacer es luchar contra todo, dialogar, convivir todos y saber que somos uno. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Equatorial Guinea. Denmark. I think the best symbol of peace should be a heart. First of all, it symbolizes a form of unity since we all have it. And furthermore, I think that to achieve peace in this world, we have to respect each other's difference in cultures and religion and personalities. And to do that, we have to bring a heart with us. Thank you, Denmark. Moldova. I consider that olive branch is the best symbol because during the war, it was used to hold an olive branch to indicate that they were pleading for peace. Thank you, Moldova. And finally, the People's Republic of China. I think Chinese North is the perfect symbol for peace. Chinese 所以呢，我认为这样一个传统的手工艺品能够流传至今，所以我觉得它应该是一个非常可以具有和平的代表的一个物品。谢谢。Thank you, China, and congratulations. Was it okay? Yeah. Yeah, you did it. It's over. Congratulations. Remember, you at home get to decide which of these contestants had the best answer, or which contestant you want to make it into the Miss World Final 40. Remember to stay up to date on all of our social media pages, facebook.com slash missworld, missworld.com, and the official Instagram and Mobstar accounts. And make sure you watch episode 12 with England, Croatia, Guatemala, Senegal, Romania, and Fiji. Vote in our head-to-head -head challenge to have your favorite contestant advance to the final 40. There are three ways to vote. Visit the Miss World website, on Mobstar using their official Mobstar account, or by liking their official Miss World Facebook page. The contestant with the most increase in votes, likes, and follows will advance directly to the final 40.